let's take a look at how to pack for a short holiday or weekend break. Firstly, what to look for in a weekend suitcase. So, we've got four spinners that are on the bottom of the suitcase for easy mobility. You've got a side handle, you've also got a top handle, and you've also got a wheel handle as well that's movable. If you're flying, I'd say it's a really good idea to use a hard case. This one here just weighs over two kilograms, so it's in actual fact really, really light. What's also great is it's made of curve, which actually goes into bulletproof vests. It's best to be super organised if you're going to be going on holiday. First up, make sure you research the destination that you're going to. The temperature, facilities and also what you're planning on doing will have a big impact on what you actually pack. It's also really handy to keep spare copies of your passport and also your travel documents just in case you need them. If you're flying, always check with the airline first about weight and size restrictions because they do vary. In addition, once you're packed, weigh your suitcase to check that it comes within the regulations. Make a note of your lock code. If you're flying to America, you will need a case with a TSA lock so the security staff can check your case if they need to and also make sure you include your contact details on your luggage. Now let's get onto the packing. With a weekend or a short break suitcase, as room is so vital, what you need to do is find as few pieces that you can take that you can mix and match over the course of your break. With the two compartments of this suitcase, I would recommend that you put the pieces that are gonna crease easily in this section. Over in this section, you've got this absolutely great panel here, which I'd recommend putting in electricals. And then also any jewelry, because this will be able to protect them and also keep them safe. Next up, you want to put the heavier items at the bottom so that it's not going to crease and crush your other smaller items here. I'm just gonna pop in these shoes and a gorgeous pair of gold sandals. When it comes to packing this section of the suitcase, which is where you're gonna put your more creasable items, what I would recommend is putting the longer items in first. So we've got a great neutral pair of trousers, then we've got a gorgeous party dress. Next up, the jacket. Now, jackets are quite difficult to pack. My tip here is to place it in top ways, fold the arms over. Now what's also great to do is use your underwear to put in the shoulders and keep the structure. Then you can fold the bottom of the jacket over, making sure that you keep it all nice and straight. And then use the longer garments to fold over. And this will make sure that you will have minimal creasage at the other end. Another technique that you can use when it comes to packing is the rolling method. If you've got some little areas around the side, a little bit of extra space, then just roll up a dress like this. There'll be minimal creasage, tuck it down the side there. Now going back to this section, we've got lots of pockets here and gaps that we can actually fill stuff in. So I've got a little bit of underwear here. So we're using every little bit of space for this suitcase. Sunglasses which fit perfectly into there, and then all your toiletries as well for the weekend. We've just put this into a small case, which means that it's nice and secure and it won't leak everywhere. So, we're all packed up. We just need to make sure that we buckle this side here, so it means everything's kept in place. We've got the mesh overlay there. And then we've also got another bit that you can close here as well. Now what's great is there's another compartment, so if you're going to have a book for your flight or for any time of reading over the weekend, then you can use that as well. Now, if things are creased when they get to the destination, which they shouldn't be because we've given you the packing techniques, then a really great tip is in the bathroom, hang up those garments, and when you have a shower or a bath, the heat should actually take out all the creasing. Now that we've closed up the compartments, it all looks very nice and neat. So you can simply close it up and bon voyage.